y'all welcome back to my channel and today I'm here with another product review and today we're going to be reviewing the makeup by Mario soft scope bronzer um, I picked up the blush stick and I also picked up the shaping sticks so I'm gonna do a quick review on all three of these products at first I was not even thinking about picking these up but the more and more I kept seeing Instagram ads for these I just was like okay let me go pick it up and try it see if I like it so here we are. So I'm going to read a little bit about each product and then I'm going to jump right into applying these products to my face. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bronzer first. The bronzer is a buildable, lightweight, multi-purpose bronzer that is perfect for creating soft definition in a naturally bronzed skin with minimal fallout. It is available in six shades and it also retails for $28. Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick is a dual-ended cream shaping stick that is buildable and swipes on seamlessly for a true-to-skin definition that dries down to a natural matte. Finish this. It is available in six shades and it also retails for $28. Pop Blush Stick. This dual ended blush stick offers a sheer buildable coverage with a dewy and a moisturizer formula ideal for all skin types. It is available in six shades as well and it also retails for $28. So as you see that this is pretty affordable. It's, um, the products are not even $30 where well, they're right there at $30 but it's pretty much affordable. So yeah, let's just get right into this review. Okay, so I'm going to start first with the soft uh, shape sculpting stick and this is what the packaging looks like. Hopefully dark. You take the top off. This is what it looks like. You just push this part up like that. And on the other side, that is the brush that comes with it. Before I apply it to my face, I'm going to swatch it on my hand just so y'all can see what it looks like. This is what the brush looks like. Sometimes I can be a little intimidated by like contour sticks or just trying to contour my face because I always feel like I always mess it up a little bit where it kind of looks like, I don't know, I just, it don't come out right or like how you're supposed to keep blending upward. I always somehow get it like downwards. I feel like that happened a little bit, but it doesn't look too bad. I like it so far. Um, Usually I notice sometimes when people contour, Usually when people contour, they don't just contour like their cheeks. They usually do like the forehead and like their jawline. I didn't do that with this stick because um, I saw a video when he was using this on one of the models and he only did like the cheeks. Then he went all over the face with the bronzer. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Follow like his little steps that he did with um, this product. And the bronzer that I picked up was dark. I believe the other one was deep dark. For some reason, it is not available on Sephora's website. It wasn't available in store. I went with Dark. I did look again like at one of his videos and one of the models who I felt like was around my complexion, he used Dark on her and it worked. But looking at it in the pan, I'm not sure. This is what it looks like. Even though some things can be deceiving when you look at them in the pan and then when you put it on your face, it'd be much darker. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that's the case with this, but I'm gonna swatch it right quick. Okay, that's what it looks like. I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to use this bronzer brush. So this is what my face looks like with this bronzer on. This did warm me up. It's very subtle. It didn't give me like a super bronze look, but it did warm up my complexion a little bit. So if you are around like my shade, you can use dark if you want like a subtle uh, Brian liked the shade like it warmed up my complexion like I could tell the difference Hopefully y'all can see it on camera, but yeah, I do feel like it warmed me up so now I'm gonna go in with the blush stick and I picked up the shade raspberry oh And this has a brush on the end of it, too I did not even know that I thought only the shaping stick had a brush. I mean, this is what Raspberry is looking like Let's swatch it I think I'm gonna swatch it right here. Okay, y'all, this is a nice berry color. Hey, 
y'all this is what my face is looking like with the blush on i really love the shade of it i feel like it really gave me like that nice pinky color that i like to see against um dark skin tones like i love a berry shade of blush i don't really care for this brush for blending out the um yeah, so my thoughts on all three products out of everything i will say the um sculpting stick was definitely my favorite i'm not a huge fan of contouring because i always feel like it ends up looking muddy on me i could never like sculpt or like sculpt my face correctly and i felt like this was nice like, when i tried to contour my cheeks almost looked muddy a little bit and i felt like it didn't really do that it did it a little bit but i kind of cleaned it up I'm just not good when it comes to contouring and I feel like if I kept using this over and over, especially with the brush, I will get better or feel a little bit more comfortable about contouring my face. So I do like this um, sculpting stick and I did have the shade Deep Dark and it did dry down to a natural matte yes. finish. The bronzer, looking at it in the pan and when I swatched it, I felt like it wasn't going to give me the bronze look that I like, but this does give you a natural subtle bronze, which I'm not mad at that. If you are, like I mentioned earlier, around my skin tone, my complexion, dark will work for you. Now, if you want to look super bronze, then maybe Deep Dark, the deepest shade will work, but at my particular store, it was not available and even on Sephora's website, it wasn't available so I'm happy that I did take a chance on this this did work for me I would describe this shade of bronzer almost like um, the new Huda beauty bronzer the what I think is four shade four where it's not a really super bronze look but it bronzed you up enough if you are my complexion so if you saw my uh, Huda beauty um, review of what was it the glowish and how that bronzer look on me I feel like this kind of is the same exact shade but it's not like that glowy bronze this is more like a natural type of bronze um, the blush stick i don't really like it i don't hate it but i don't like it either i like the shade of it and but also this blush stick wiped off some took off some of the makeup no this is supposed to be like a radiant finish to me this was more like matte almost drying matte like when i was putting it on my face and like you know applying it to my cheeks it was it felt dry and it, like I said it took off some of my makeup and with the brush I kind of had a little hard time blending it out so I would suggest if you put this on um, your cheeks I will use a sponge and kind of blend it out because with the brush and the fact that this is kind of like dry the texture of it it's going to take off your it's going to be hard to blend off and bad enough it is going to take off some of your makeup so, so um would I recommend someone going out picking these up yes I would recommend the shaping stick and the bronzer the blush stick i'm not like i said i don't really like it so i don't think i would recommend this personally y'all so those are my thoughts on the new makeup by mario blush bronzer and sculpting stick so don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye